Hi, this is Steve Ridsdale from Vintage Tractor Engineer and this is a preview of the Massey Ferguson 135 clutch replacement tutorial. Basically we show you everything you need to know to do the job correctly. There's a little over 1 hour 20 minutes of uh, video tutorial. We show splitting the tractor, how to dismantle safely, assessing all the components and then rebuilding the clutch using a centralising tool, setting finger heights and the settings for the PTO clutch. When we have the tractor split for a clutch replacement it's also a good idea to have a look at the input shafts, how to dismantle them and to replace the seals. This is uh, where the, the oil often leaks from the, uh, from the rear end of the tractor in the transmission housing into the clutch housing and then uh, as we had uh, in, in this video um, the clutch plates were damaged uh, th through oil getting it onto them so um, so we do really I would suggest look at replacing the seals They're, the seals themselves are very easy to damage while you're fitting them so we need to use the best method we can to replace these seals We also look at the multi-power oil shaft seals and the multi-power control valve. All jobs that you want to do whilst the tractor is split. Then there's just the tractor to rejoin and the pedal free play to set. Everything's shown in step-by-step -step detail on the video so anyone can follow it and, uh, and then you can make the best job to get your tractor clutch running again as it should do.